be a nice Welcome back pace. to us getting out of the car at Final Fantasy 15. Whoa, look at hit there. Whoa, Ignis. Man, buddy. You gotta watch that shit. <laughs> These drivers around here just don't care. <sighs> also, this guy will actually wait for the like the rest of the game for you to move. He won't even bother to go by. Because I'm a prince. Um, Mr. Gray, this is actually kind of unique, in my opinion, for a Final Fantasy game. Because this is a, uh, it's an open world game. That definitely has like a Final Fantasy-esque story. There's crystals and there's Not magic and there's head. evil empires and there's Magitek armor. Um, however, oh, here's, here's the guy I gotta help. However, um, it takes place in an, in like a, a Western RPG-esque open Thank world. You so much. And you like go to town and get quests and, you know, just do a bunch of shit like that. Yeah. Um, you drive around in a car, as you've noticed. So that guy, like, that was an easy quest. He, this guy just needed a potion. And I had heard him yelling before, but I couldn't find him because it was night, it was nighttime, and I couldn't see in there. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just leave him. Right, prompt, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, whatever. Let's, let's go. Let's back in the car. But they do give you a car to ride around in. <laughs> kind of nice. Oh, fucking Imperials. It's time. Yeah, maybe I'll not... Engage the enemy. No, get in the car. I can't. Because the car is within the zone of combat, so I can't get in it without actually fighting these guys. See? My combat begins right here. Again? No rest for the gotcha. Uh, nice shot, Prompto. Luckily, you're not within their aggro range, so they just don't give a shit. I'm gonna have to clear these guys out, aren't I? Alright. Let's clear them out. Do they have any snipers? Those guys in the back are snipers. Let's go around then and take out the snipers first. The swordsmen are actually really easy to kill when it comes to Magitek troopers. The snipers give you a lot of trouble. Give me a lot of trouble anyway. No, 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 no. Good shot, Prompto. Watch your right. I like, get, no, I want to get the thing. Let me get it. Let me. <laughs> Just barely get. I'm like on the edge of the combat zone, trying to get, pick up these fucking peppers. Okay, pepper. So yes. Imperials. I didn't get it. Shit. Okay, no whatever. Enough talk. Time for some action. Okay, snipers in the back. Snipers in the back. We're going for it. Let's go. Yep. Snipers are easy to kill, but they do a lot of damage from long range, and they can kind of fuck your your whole battle if you fight the swordsman first. Oh, just like that. What are five weeb games you want to play? Let's play. Um, do the Tales games count? Because all of them. They're anime games, man. I kind of count them as weeb games, personally. I do want to do Valkyrie Chronicles. Fuck, just keep getting hit in the face. And yeah, Portal Mesa has mentioned that one enough that I kind of want to see it just to be curious now. There, opening. <laughs> Shoots him when he's down. Wow, Prompto. Also, he has no problem just getting shot with an AK right in the chest at point blank. Oh, you missed your big move there. Is this swords enough? I think so. I think we're good. What's 100% orange juice? I don't hate Ichi. I just don't see a point to it. Personally. If you like it, all the power to you, but I'd rather just either watch a porn or watch a romance. That's just me, though. Gladio's not looking too good. 
Nice attack there, Gladio. And yet we're all very much alive. All right, now I can go over here. Huh. Okay, don't out of the way. I'm the prince, goddammit, it! Don't hit me. I can get my peppers. I can get in the car. And get the fuck out of here. Okay, they make a big deal about how dangerous um, this world is at night because, like, giants come out and they they, they don't attack towns because they hate light. But if you're out on the road at night, they kind of fuck with you. Um, how come everyone's driving around at night? Let's go to. Actually, no. Let's go to a parking spot. Let's go to this town next. It's the first town. Everything in order. Mm. Yep. Combat looks neat. I swear, took this on to make a final fantasy game with real-time combat. Well, they did it with. Fi Wait, what are you doing, Ignis? Knocked. The roads are perilous at night. Not to everyone else, apparently, who aren't like heavily armored. What's this light coming up? Oh, whatever. Wait, are we in a fight? That's like, that's like the fight meter. Oh, they're right in front of us. They're just right in front of us. I'm gonna take over the, the wheel. I'm just gonna drive right through them because fuck everybody. I'll take the wheel from here. So be it. I only ask you keep the recklessness. Yeah, wasn't Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 12 real time? They were real time, but shit. Okay, let's switch. Let's do this. No. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Are we seriously in the exact same situation as last time? But now it's night and we can't fucking even go anywhere because we're gonna get fucked by iron giants. We meet again. I see no incentive to start trouble with them now. Yep, he's right. Give peace a chance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this game is so fucking goofy sometimes, you guys. Okay. Let's return to the car. Maybe it'll reload the map. This is, by the way, much better than 15. Nope, didn't even do a single thing. Kick their ass? No, I'm, I'm, I'm returning to a rest point. Wait, no, no I want to go to Gong. No, I want to pay money. Our only choice is to fight them at this point. For fuck's sake. Okay. Fine. Going for the snipers. Up. Guess what? Fuck you! Whoa, slow down! Man, PS4 pushed to the limit. No, no, snipers. I found the snipers. Yeah, yeah, I got to do that. Oh, there I go. Out of high potions. Gotta buy some. Okay. You'd like this more than pretty like rants and if you have to be hot girl in sight. Well, let's be fair here. Noxious might be a pretty boy, but he gets shit done. Like, he's always fighting. Look at this, man. Everyone else is bowing down to the Empire, and here we are fighting their, their goons. 
Last session we blew, up, we blew up like a Metal Gear. That's gotta be worth something. If we wish to succeed, we need all be present. Okay, now let's get in the fucking car. The PS4 can't handle your your party's power level. <laughs> okay, in the car. No, in the car. What the fuck happened? It's an Iron Giant. Okay. Level 30 Iron Giant. This guy will one-shot us. Are you fucking kidding me? No. 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 Fine. We'll fight him. Prompto. Oh, hi there, opening. Clean glasses. Run no. away, run away, run away, run away. What's going on? Whoa! Everyone's dying. All better? My bad. Wow. So apparently this is just the quest to get in our fucking car, because nothing wants us to... Don't hit me. Okay. So we're going without a car today, guys. We're just going to be uh, on foot in the middle of the night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to run manually into a rest point. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming you got to be like... Man, that hurts. Level 30 to actually take on those Iron Giants, eh? Normal. Is that another one? That's another okay. Just keep going, guys. Keep going. I'd say roll the windows up, but there's no uh, there's no windows to roll at the moment. Prompto's still just taking pot shots at it back there. You retard. Prompto. Come on, buddy. You get yourself killed. <laughs> oh, he really caught up. He's fast. Okay, we're at, we're at a highway. Where's the... We're so far away from everything. Here, Here's a campground, okay? I'm going to go get this treasure. And I'm going to go camping. Can't get it out of my head. You know, I might as well get the treasure. I'm here, right? Level 25, 26, okay. Whoa. Quality building stone. Okay, I keep finding all this weird junk. What can I do with that, man? <laughs> all right, we don't have a car anymore. It belongs to the giant now. Is there? Wait, is someone? Wow, the color's amazing. I keep. Okay, I found a new quest. Somebody needs needs help. Guess we'll go help him. Okay, where's the person? You, you in here? Where are you? This is you. Hello. I can't thank you enough. All in a day's work. Someone's getting raped behind the rock. Jesus. There is one of him. As long as you remember, you have to remember to buy potions and you're high enough, you get one shot. Well, don't they sometimes come with bombs, though? Because I remember I fought, or I tried to fight, like, much earlier in the game. I tried to fight one near Hammerhead, and it, it had bombs with it. Yeah, yeah the items are probably craftables, but I haven't found anything to craft with them yet. I know like Sid back at Hammerhead is your crafting guy. And I have I have upgraded like I have the the, dra the drain lance 2 and the engine blade 2. 
from his uh, from his craftings. I'll send you to New Year with green grass and cute choker bros. Why are you still anusing around this place? <sighs> I'm just doing side quests, man. Like, look it. There's like around every Come corner. On. There's something to do. Like, what's Rachel. this? Is this gonna be more food? I can use the food to camp tonight. Like, no reason not to pick it up. It's right here. That's that's kind of how this game sucks you in. Is like, you're you're on you're on an open world mission and you get like a billion quests and then on your way to the quest there's like ten points of interest. It's like might as well go there and do that shit too. And then you realize that like the old towns have higher level quests that you couldn't do back at the start of the game, so you go back. Like, oh look at this, I can get more magic. I might as well. Fire, fuck! I'm gonna make some fire. Come on. Nope. Hello, Mancy. Fire. Yeah. No, no. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah. Uh, I I found that just like getting maximum, putting in maximum potency, and just using up all your fire or all your whatever, is fine. Because you get so much of this stuff, like, boom. There's like one third of it right back, and I'll get the other two thirds really easily. So why not just max it out every single time? I didn't under I don't understand the point of the potency system because there's so there's so many elemental geodes or whatever around the world. It doesn't really matter. There's lightning. I'm good the ice one. Ice is full too, so go to the mine palace. Elemancy. I'll make a blizzard. Bam. Oh. The game's visual design is surprisingly good. Yeah, I agree. It probably is, in my opinion, the best possible way to make a Final Fantasy game work as an open world game. Because you still have like party members. You can still direct them with at least to a limited extent. You, they all have like different equips and skills and stuff and you all level up with skill trees. And it still has a relatively linear main story like you're not making any kind of big choices here. You're just going along for the Final Fantasy ride. And yet it also turned into a big open world adventure too. So it's just, yeah. This is my kind of game. Where's the campground? <gasps> Sleepy. It is about that time. Here we go. Made it. You can use the items to pick up to combine with magic. The one thing unless you can power them up. Oh, shit. Camping. Again. Well, you got a problem with camping? I enjoy camping, man. What are some non AA weeb games you want to let's play? Um. What about that, what's it called, Gal Gun? I'd like to play Gal Gun. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I can imagine Dave shitting himself over Gal Gun on the show. What are we cooking tonight for dinner, guys? <laughs> I, I like spent all this time grinding up all these, like look, look at all, look at the stock listing of all these, uh, these foods. And yet, the game is like, nope, just make Flame roasted toast on a stick. Nah, fuck that. Let's make something good. Cup noodles. How about. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good too. What gives us the best. Oh, Noct likes that. Ignis likes this. I'm gonna go for a one with Gal Gun that makes the great Dave Nick shit himself. Just just over the concept of it. I asked wait, use the items you pick up to combine them with the magic. The bottom thing allows you to use items to power them up. Oh that's cool, Xavier. I didn't know that. I'll have to look at that uh, next time I make magic. I asked a reviewer I found in Fall just to really the game and said watch your position and don't go into guns blazing each action in mind. Play defensively.
Yeah, I mean, it's not a hard game. The, the battles get frustrating sometimes because it feels like even when you go to block an attack, you still don't block it, and it's like, well, what's the point? Mr. Gray, check this out. This is why I love this. Look how good that looks. You could actually eat that, it looks so good. Yeah. Also, Prompto likes just fucking playing games on his goddamn phone. Probably use a sprint for fuck's sake. Leveling up. 20. Good job. Let's see Prompto's photos. Yeah, that's a good Gladio surfboard pic. <laughs> Is that a picture of Nock just getting his ass reamed out by like a giant pack of... Yeah, save that. <laughs> look at this, look at this. We're getting sniped by Imperial soldiers and Prompto's still going to be like, let's take a photo to commemorate this. Um, the food gives buffs and there's they're, they're temporary. But um, they appear... Uh, on the bottom of the screen as like a bar and it lasts for most of the next day at, at the same time you can only eat food when you're either at a restaurant or when you're camping so you want to like buff yourself up for the next day's fights and um camping at the same time is the only way to gain experience like you, you beat monsters and you get like experience that gets put into your backlog but it doesn't actually level your character up until you camp. Or until you stay at an inn. So you go out there, like for example, while, when I was off show, I played for like two in-game days straight. Just got like, just ate food whenever, whenever my, my, my buffs ran out. I got like 6,000 experience and then I camped and I gained like three levels in one night. It was, it was pretty cool. Hey, this one's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, the warp Magitek soldier just being all zombie-like. Okay, now I'm good to go. can we go just get the fucking car? Quick. If you can call it for cheap, I might call it here. No, I can just return to car. Yeah, I'll do that. There we go. Let's go to that point. This place. Let's go. Everything in order. When you get your computer, what game do you suggest to... Uh, what the fuck? Who's here now? Are you fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? Are they all swordsmen? Okay, they're all swordsmen. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. You know what? You know what, guys? Fuck you. Wow, Pumper's getting the shit kicked out of him. Whoa! Some of these guys are much stronger. Man. How are we? Getting by. Pronto's dead. Oh, fuck. What the fuck are you guys doing anyway? Being retarded? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. 
everyone's fucking dead. Are you fucking... What the fuck? Hey, Prompto. Wanna come the fuck over here before you get yourself killed? Also, here's Mr. Bystander, just like... Yeah. I'm fine with this. Wait. Are they fucking twins? <laughs> yeah. They're, they are in unison, fine with this. What the fuck? Engaged in... Fucking done. Fuck you guys. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Got out of it. Well, Prompto's dead again. Watch yourself, no. I know. This is no time for a nap. Sorry for the trouble. Gladio, do it! Nice work, Gladio. Yep. Fucking die already. Come here. Whoops. <laughs> That's your shoulder, does it? Ignis is like, help me. I'm just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Boom. I'm getting your inheritance soon. Well, that's cool. I mean, not cool that somebody probably died to get you inheritance, but at least you get an inheritance. Could be worse. Okay. Now, can we get in the fucking car? I'm start death. And yet we're all very much alive. That was bullshit, you guys. I'm just going to get on the fucking record and say that was bullshit. It was her time, 91. You know what I mean? Yeah, 91's a good time, all right? Like most people don't expect to live past their 60s. You hit 91, you're you're good. Any big PC game that'll come out in a month or two? Yeah. Honestly, the only like next year's kind of devoid of games, isn't it? I mean, Near Automata has has butthole, so you're gonna obviously buy that. There's the new Zelda game, which is gonna be great. There's the Switch in general, which is gonna be great. But like. There's not much that's exciting me next year. All the big games that I really wanted to play came out this year, in 2016. Man, I actually read something on online recently, Dynasty Star, that like, um, there was, we're near the end of the episode, so I'm just gonna say this while we're here. We're at 30 minutes. Go home, ten fag. There was a um, a study done by people with various forms of dementia, and they discovered that like they they drastically improve when you flash um, white light in their faces at a very high rate. Like regular people will um, excuse me, regular people will you know potentially have seizures at that, that, that at, with the fast flashing. But people with dementia will actually improve. It's something about triggering certain types of uh, areas in the brain once you get hit with that light. So, but here's the thing: it was just a study. There was no way, like, it wasn't yet any any kind of treatment coming out of it. So, um, 
so some guy on Reddit was like, hey, can you, uh, it, it looks like the, the Vive is probably the best uh, way to actually administer this kind of treatment. Can some amateur Vive programmer um, make uh, an application that works on the Vive that I can put for my great uncle who has dementia and just flash his eyes with a bunch of shit and it'll actually Im help him improve. And um, a Vive developer who actually who actually was like a, like, like a reasonably sized developer was like, yeah, I'll make that for you. Give him a couple hours. And he just made it for him. And now, that, now, they're, now they're trying it out. That's actually pretty incredible. Um, the internet... For all of its for all of its insanity, occasionally does good things. Um, anyway, next episode of oh hey Dragonix mod, uh, welcome to the stream. Next episode of NTG, we're gonna do more Final Fantasy. BRB guys, I'll see you in about thirty seconds. Yeah.